Hey, what's up, everyone? Luigi X right here, and today I'm going to be reacting to Robert versus Waluigi. I can't pronounce his full name. I know he's from that show, Spore Kids. And being honest, I actually saw that show back when I was a little kid. I'm only 14, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, that's when I saw that show, and it was it was kind of funny. I saw I saw Spore Kids. It's been a while, but I don't have any memories of it. But I did. I mostly have memories of Spore Kids and that girl, but yeah, that was it. But anyway, I never thought I. I would, this is a fight that I never thought it would happen. But ladies and gentlemen, I am, I am more of a Nintendo guy, so I'm cut to go with Waluigi, ladies and gentlemen. That's just, I just really like Waluigi. That's just me. Not because he's like Luigi, but purple. But, well, short, short, short story. I, before I knew who Luigi really was, I, I actually beat Mario Party DS with Waluigi. Yeah, I mean, I literally beat Mario Party 10, like the story mode with Waluigi, and yeah, I have no regret. I didn't know who Luigi was at the time, I didn't know who any of Mario characters were, so yeah. But anyway, as always, please make sure to check out the original video, we'll be right back here to watch it together, okay? Okay. What the? Okay. <laughs> Um, okay, yeah, make sure you watch for that. Sonic vs. The Flash, Batman vs. Black Panther, Mickey Mouse vs. Bugs Bunny, Godzilla vs. Transformers, so Aerosand vs. Sonic XZ, Wario vs. Knuckles, Scar vs. Sands, MLG to Boot Me Free Brawl, Cartoon Fight Club! What's up, everyone? What the heck? Is, who the heck is that guy right there? Episode of Cartoon Fight Club. I'm your host, and seriously, who's that guy? And if you are new to this series, be sure to check out the older content. But if you know how the game is played, then let's get ready for the fight. Tonight is the ultimate battle between number one and number two. Robbie Rotten versus Wallowee. Oh, Robbie. Who did you expect? Sparta Flop. And since both of these characters are known for plotting schemes, I wait, Waluigi. One week of preparation to bring their best inventions and wait, hold up, Waluigi. This way we can makes, find out who is true. I don't know Waluigi is kind of like makes up box like box like him, like Robbie. Round of fighters. Back in the day, Lazy Town was a quiet and safe place. No one would do any dangerous outdoor activities. Hardly anyone ever got injured since no one did anything athletically punishing. It truly was always safer indoors. Indoors, indoors. The best preseason of SpongeBob were the best. Indoors. Take it away, Penny. Yes. Yes. And fellow town scientist known as Robbie lazily minded his own business and did nothing wrong. That changed the very day an athletic hero known as Sporticus and his questionably young sidekick Stephanie came. Oh, Stephanie and is that did we just saw sports and replace everyone's ice cream with vegetables. Everyone started playing sports and eating strange vegetables, while Robbie started to fear that the town would lose its purpose in the world of being lazy. So he made it his number one Wait, really? to stop Sporticus and restore Lazy Town back to its golden age. Robbie really? is a master intellect and a self-taught scientist. He has invented many powerful gadgets and weapons. That's true. They include the Memory Zapper 3000, which he used to wipe Sporticus's neurofunctions, which resulted in him losing all of his memories. Another one of his inventions is the Littleizer 3000. This device can rapidly reverse the cells of any living thing. Thing. He used it to turn a bird into an egg, and he turned Sporticus into a ten-year-old. This could be a problem for Waluigi. Trash blaster, which does what it's named to do: blast cannons of trash. Robbie is also a master of disguise and espionage. He has over sixty disguises and can easily design more for his arsenal. He has fooled the smartest and most aware people, such as the mayor, Stephanie, and even Sporticus himself. What makes Robbie such? 
Could he fool Batman? The fact that he's so hard to fully put down and is extremely durable. He survived getting launched to the moon in his standard clothing, and he wasn't even affected by it. Not a single scratch. Whoa, okay, now this could be a problem. Within five and a half seconds, for someone of his weight to face an impact from 238,000 miles away would result in roughly 40 megatons of force, which is equivalent to most nuclear bombs. Forget one punch man's moon feet, Robbie is the real deal. Dang. Robbie has some supernatural abilities. He can teleport to any location just by snapping his fingers. He has access to hammer space and can break the fourth wall. Robbie may be number one, but even being number one doesn't make him perfect. He is very lazy and lacks impressive stamina because of his bad diet. Oh. So Waluigi can do something about that, make him really tired. He's capable of reversing his foes to an embryo. And he's and maybe. enough to survive at least 40 megatons of Wait, will Waluigi have power-ups? One rotten villain to another, let's discuss Waluigi. Being a sidekick isn't that amazing. You gotta do a lot of work while someone else takes the credit, and you don't receive appreciation for your talents like the main hero would. Now, That's true. Being the sidekick to Wario. You wreak all the benefits of being number two, while your number one himself is a greedy fat hoarder. Even in Wario's shadows, Waluigi has managed to do so many amazing things. And since he's not technically a canon Mario character, his main canon belongs to all the party sports and kart racing wow. games. Waluigi is very athletic and good at sports, his most notable being tennis. With his tennis racket, he can serve explosive bombs and Wait. I heard that Sakurai said that Waluigi would be too powerful for Smash Bros. ...to trap his enemies in condensed areas. Waluigi may not be the smartest guy around, but he has learned a lot about mischief from Wario. Ever since Mario Tennis 64, this duo has been working hand-in-hand -hand on many occasions. The side conception is that these two are cousins to Mario and Luigi, but the Wait, what? answer is unclear. Oh. Many sources have many contradicting origins, and whether they're right. more blood-related is still up for debate as Nintendo hasn't really made any set-in-stone claims. Speaking of other Mario characters, being on par with them does allow Waluigi to scale to impressive levels, but he still is a character with many flaws. He is excellent at failing, and even when things are sure to not go wrong, he finds a way to make them go wrong and end up losing regardless. Overall, oh. via scaling, Waluigi can compete with many I don't. However, he is very clumsy, and his only remarkable accomplishments is gaining Wario's approval. And um, I don't think it's gonna be much of a fight for Robbie, actually. Ready for the fight? This battle will have one. I feel like that Nintendo should have done something to make a Waluigi game or something. Seriously, Nintendo, you gotta give your char characters a spotlight, or to at least make them stronger. I don't know whether they're gonna end up in costume fight club, one man melee, or death battle. So, better be careful, Nintendo. <laughs> Are you a, a real villain? Luigi number one. Trigger. Her. Oh no. Huh? When I say go, go. <laughs> Alright, that made my average rewind. I could have done at least be a little pixely. Here's the deal. You slip and slide through this banana peel. We are number one. Here's the new lesson in Bang. This is going down in history. If you want to be a villain number one, you have to chase a superhero on the run. Yeah, I... <laughs> now look at this net that I just found. Why did I say go? Well, yeah. Get used to it already. Um. Okay. Damn! It's damn! 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 Damn
I don't think we can see why we should put a single hit on him. Waluigi, I feel like that Waluigi could have something like the mushroom or Mega Mushroom to capture it. Watch this video to find out who is number one. And if you're still unsure if Robbie has the technology to take out Waluigi, we'll sit down and let me explain why Robbie is number one and Waluigi is number two. It is very important to understand the circumstance of this battle. Each writer was given one week to know about their advantage and prep for this fight. Waluigi can train and study up on Robbie. With outside help, Waluigi can receive a power source from an outside character to wish Robbie to death. For this fight, oh. the characters were given preparation, not outside help. So the assumption that Waluigi could have wished Robbie away would have not been real use of prep, it would have been outside help. And even with prep, I can only factor in canon technology and feats that they have done before with preparation. That That's true. And tell me you gotta do a much better job with this. Is far more skilled and successful at preparing for things than Waluigi is. Don't get me wrong, they are both great at failing and messing up, but Robbie at least is responsible enough to handle things on his own. Waluigi is extremely reliant on others like Wario. With Robbie's memory zapper 3000, he can wipe out Waluigi's mind, and then any prep that Waluigi would have had would have been lost along with all his other memories and thoughts. He would forget how to do things and how to be himself. Robbie yep. can also use his Littleizer 3000 to rapidly reverse Waluigi back into an embryo. Forget an embryo, if Robbie continued to blast him, he could potentially reverse Waluigi into a sperm, and he would have died simply from drying up and malnutrition. Death by malnutrition? That sounds like the one and only thing Robbie Rotten is great at serving towards his foes. Now don't get me wrong, Waluigi is far more powerful and has far more sheer force than Robbie. He can keep oh. up with many of the Mario heavy hitters like Mario, Luigi, and Bowser. But Robbie has his own durability feats like his 40 megaton moon blast, which proves he can survive at least long enough to eventually get a hold of his little Lizer 3000 to finish the job. And while Waluigi holds a right. significant physical advantage, Robbie vastly outpasses Waluigi in brains. In a battle between brain and brain, right. Robbie can easily fool Waluigi into many dangerous scenarios. Robbie is a master trickster and Waluigi is easy at getting tricked. 
If Rob yep. is smart enough to trick and poison intelligent heroes like Sporticus, I'm very sure he can easily fool a dim-witted Waluigi into becoming young again. Waluigi spends his entire life as number two, and Robbie, well, we've always known that he was number one. Now, since both of these characters have very spicy meme counterparts, if you want to see a dank rematch between MLG Robbie Rotten versus YouTube Poop Waluigi... Oh, YouTube Poop Waluigi! Wait, there's MLG Robbie? There will be a meme rematch between Waluigi and MLG Robbie. Also, I'm guessing it's gonna be similar to MLG Shrek and Donkey versus Ultra Sands and Phantom of Pirates. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I remember that much. On the next episode of On the next episode of Cartoon Fight Club. All right, Minecraft Steve versus um, it's not the Roblox new, but it's a different one. But it's the rematch. Hopefully, it'll be animated by like, the same guy that animated Naruto versus Scorpion. Rematch. But still, seriously, Nintendo, you gotta do a better job with this. You wanna lose to Disney? Do you wanna lose to Nickelodeon? Come on, do a better job. And what the heck was with that one with Donkey Kong and Lucina? That was kind of funny. Well, that was a strange fight. But anyway, I'm a little disappointed that Waluigi won, but like, I mean, he's lost. But I can understand why Robbie wins. But still, Nintendo, you gotta do a better job with your characters. You really gotta do a better job. Listen to the fans, Nintendo. Listen to the fans. Please. But anyway, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you right back here next time. Luigi GX out.